Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Texter. So guys, this video is for all the network engineers because in this video we are going to discuss what are the job responsibility of a uh, network engineer and what are the qualifications and skills required to become a network engineer. So before discussing the job responsibility of a network engineer, let us understand why the role of a network engineer is so so important nowadays uh, guys nowadays we all are are connected to internet uh, we use a lot internet a life is incomplete without internet we we have we access a lot of applications facebook insta whatsapp a lot of applications we do a lot of online uh, financial transactions uh, on the bank network uh, in this period of the lock, lockdown, uh, most of the people are working from home. And guys, all this stuff is possible because there is a network infrastructure. And a network engineer is responsible to deploy this network infrastructure to monitor this network infrastructure and to maintain this network infrastructure so the role of a network in network engineer guys is is super critical and so as the job of a network engineer is so critical so so are the responsibilities you know so let's discuss about the job responsibilities of a network engineer so if you are a fresher and you are approaching uh, to become a network engineer I think this video is going to be very useful to you uh, or the guys who have already working uh, who have some sort of experience uh, in networking that just started for them also this video is going to be very 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 useful uh, understanding the job responsibilities of a network uh, network engineer is like a network engineer uh, a very first thing which 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 I think a network engineer should have is he should have a good understanding of the services which are going to run on the network infrastructure. I've mentioned this point, I think, so of the services over here. Okay, a network engineer uh, involves understanding of network services. So once that network engineer is having a good understanding of the network services, because uh, the network engineer is responsible for planning the network infrastructure, he is responsible for designing the same and he's also responsive for implementing the network infrastructure uh, i'll come to this point one by one uh, the another point which i want to add add to this is that a network engineer should also have a good understanding of documentation that what exactly he needs to document what is sla service level agreement he should have a very good understanding of that uh, network diagrams how to draw network diagrams how to read a network diagram you know how to implement a network diagram so all this stuff a network in engineer should have a very good idea or he is responsible i would say he's responsible for all this stuff uh, many people think a network engineer is a person who is just going out in the in the data centers in the network rooms and doing some physical connectivity no guys that is not the job that is not only the job of network engineer a network engineer is responsible for documentation planning and everything which is involved in the network infrastructure a network engineer uh, as i told you know it's a, it's it's also responsible for the installation of the network devices the physical installation of the network network devices uh, has been if you are a fresher or uh, you know if you, are, if you are approaching or want to go in this particular career you should have some understanding i'll say of routers because network engineers are responsible for installation of routers switches firewalls load balancer these are the devices uh, which are placed in the network infrastructure and a network engineer is also responsible for um, for the for preparation of the configuration of of this of this devices so studying these devices is very important for a network engineer again a network engineer what what many people think is this job <laughs> a rack a lot of things a lot of cables yeah a network engineer is also responsible for uh, for connecting the cables you should have a very good knowledge of what are the cables what are the connectors are you know where we need to connect the uh, devices a device from device perspective the understanding of the device perspective very important because again network engineer is responsible for that so 
this is another point for which a network engineer is responsible very critical networks like the internet service providers which are isps which are known as isps or a bank network which are very critical network and which need to be which are providing the customers 24 by 7 so 24 by 7 services like the internet services pro, uh, internet service providers provide to you or the bank network provide to you so that kind of networks need to have a network monitoring 24 by 7 so a network engineer should have the capability to work around the clock he should have the capability of doing morning shifts afternoon shifts night shifts so that is a a, a thing in a network engineer's life which he cannot deny um there are some uh, knocks which are set up for this I point out that a picture also kind of knocks knock are like network operation centers uh i have a video on my youtube channel where i have placed uh, the some of some 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 knock interview uh, question and answers for a from perspective of a network engineer i'll paste the a uh, link for that video in the description section of this video so you can just have a look at that also the people of the freshers basically who who are approaching for for network engineers so guys you should be ready to work on all the shifts that is a responsibility of a network engineer because you have to monitor the network 24 by 7 and to to monitor these things network engineers use some uh, some tools uh, a network engineer is also responsible for troubleshooting the issues if you are monitoring the network you are going to get some some sort of issues you will notice some issues and those issues need to be solved and this issues can be issue with uh, the physical connectivity issues can be with some configurational stuff of the devices it can be issues with the device particular so you should have a uh, network engineer is also responsible for for all this stuff so to become a network engineer i'll say you should have a very good troubleshooting skill a very good approach how to troubleshoot uh, a particular thing as a fresher you may or may not have that skill because that is a skill which actually comes uh, in ex- after experience but again working hard studying on that is is, is again uh, It's, it's it's all responsibility of an of an individual, but again, as I told, network engineer is responsible for troubleshooting of network issues, which may include physical connectivity issue, device issue, configuration issue, on and many more issues. Again, network engineers are also uh, responsible for performing certain new changes in the network to modify some so something in the network. We have already have a network infrastructure in place. so a network engineer uh, may get a request to do certain modification in the network and those modifications can be like the configurational modifications or the uh, physical changes in that network uh, maybe some changes like you know you need to upgrade the os as you upgrade the os of your uh, you know of your mobile phones in the same way uh, with new security features with new patches a network devices also uh, need a uh, new uh, os so that is again a responsibility of a network engineer so guys a lot of responsibilities of a network engineers which uh, i've tried to specify uh, the major responsibilities of a network engineer uh, now let's have some discussion about um, what is the qualification to become a network engineer mostly the graduates uh, or uh, the engineers uh, in uh, information technology or computer science or telecommunication sort of people go into this kind of stream but again i have seen a lot of people who don't have the background uh, of this but they still manage to make their and manage to make a good career in in this particular stream again uh, a skill set or a thing is that if you are planning to do it you do have to have a good understanding of networking concepts uh, you should have a good understanding of networking devices hardware you should have again i told you in that last slide that your approach and your network troubleshooting skills should be very good uh, which again which eventually comes after some sort of experience uh, again a skill would i say is a time management skill because if, if you're working in an internet service providers knock for example very important so a network engineer should have a good time management skills you should have a very good documentation skills because that again uh, helps a lot for a network engineer uh, 
again a network engineers uh, network engineers are told uh, devices like routers switches firewalls load balancers a lot of uh, devices uh, in network um, a lot of you can say platform in uh, for network devices and there are a lot of vendors also for them like for routers uh, we have uh, cisco routers juniper routers uwise routers extracom routers uh, so in firewalls we have checkpoints firewalls which are very popular palo alto firewalls uh, juniper also have their firewalls uh, as firewalls for cisco so there's a lot of uh, you know i've mentioned here that knowledge of multi vendor multi platform devices so the network engineer who is having a good knowledge uh, i'll say of multi vendor multi platform multi vendor means cisco juniper these are the vendors and multi platform platform means routers switches uh, firewalls etc so you should have a good certification like ccna most of people do when they start up their career and again that is a very important certification for a for an engineer to start ccna people do people do lot of people do after that ccnp cci is the export level certification uh, for cisco uh jncia jncis jncib uh jncie these are all the certifications for juniper if you are working a lot in juniper uh, network but most of uh, uh, the networks will find of cisco as compared to juniper so most of people first order for uh, for the cisco certifications but again juniper certifications are also superb i personally have done some juniper certifications and working on juniper devices is again a totally different fun uh checkpoint certifications uh, ccsa ccse uh that have again uh, palo alto certifications you have uh, you have fi load balancer certifications you can go for that itil uh, is an certification uh, which is uh, related to the process because there's a process by which uh, which which need to be followed while you are working in an industry so there's an industry standard what is the change process or sort of thing so this lot of people do this certification i'll recommend i also done that certification itil so i'll recommend a lot of people to do this certifications who are in initial phases of their careers it will give you a good understanding about about the change process about the industry standards of 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 how the things should be managed um uh, guys i want to show you this much in this video i'll uh, i'll come up with more videos uh, related to networking in my my channel uh please do subscribe my channel i'll come up with more videos uh catch up in the next video till then best of luck for your careers uh if you need any help lot of uh, in, in sort of careers in networking for a fresher you can do contact me on my email address uh if you need any networking stuff note sort of thing you can just contact me on this email address i'll try to reply you so this is ff normal dot text of at the rate uh, gmail.com you can watch my other videos i've posted a lot of videos and uh, on my on my channel so you can also watch those videos if you have any queries related to videos you can comment on those i'll do reply on those comments so guys thank you for watching this video have a nice day and best of luck god bless you all